This is another reason to be mindful about ticks as the warmer weather. Uh, the weather warms up and we find ourselves spending more time outside. A bite from a tick could cause a lifetime allergic reaction that could make you allergic to red meat. It's called the Lone Star Tick, and Stetson Miller tells us about how it introduces us, about how it affects us, and how a competitive barbecue chef has been bitten by one. This particular tick might be a meat lover's worst nightmare. One bite from it, and you may never be able to enjoy beef and pork again. I started uh, breaking out every time I would eat hamburger. Keith Tremel of Edgewater was bit by one of them. They're called Lone Star Ticks, named for a small white spot on their backs. And for some people, their bites can cause you to become allergic to red meat, also known as alpha-gal syndrome. It was a tough diagnosis for someone like Keith, whose hobby is competitive barbecuing. Yeah, I can't taste the meat. I'm turning into the judges. So in the back of my mind, I'm always a little nervous, like, oh, no, is this what, you know, what's this going to be? He's had the allergy for five years, but that hasn't stopped him from competing. But you still you still want to compete despite what happened. I do. It's fun. Not every Lone Star tick carries the carbohydrate that causes the allergy. It has to feed on another mammal first and then transmits it to a person whose immune system may respond to it. And when it's exposed to that carbohydrate molecule um, in the future after eating meat, it will develop, the person will develop an allergic reaction. Dr. Lucas Carlson, an emergency physician at MedStar Union Memorial Hospital, says it's a relatively new diagnosis. He recommends seeing an allergist if you start to have a severe reaction to the tick's bite. And while more Lone Star ticks are now being found in Maryland, he says most people who get bit by one probably won't develop the allergy. So it's still a rel rare, relatively rare phenomenon to develop this meat allergy, even in response to a Lone Star tick. And while there is no cure for alpha-gal syndrome, Keith says he's going to try acupuncture to see if it can alleviate his symptoms. And we also want to emphasize that the Lone Star tick does not carry Lyme disease. In Charles Village, Stetson Miller for WJZ.